beautiful love. On the 10th of May 2023, the Round Britain Cruise RBC 60 came to Plymouth and we were there to record it. What's your name? This is Mike bringing in the, the, the Dutch lifeboat. Mike Falls. So whereabouts in Holland did they come from? I don't know actually. <coughs> I have a word with him when he's... Uh... Yeah. So this... we've got a number of French boats in the uh, old G OGI. Yes. Uh, obviously it's mainly British. Yeah. But we've got some French boats and some Dutch boats. I think one or two German boats as well. And there's a few coming in tomorrow, isn't there? Uh, what's coming in tomorrow, we hope, is Bonita, which is a 19th century uh, wooden boat. Uh, another one called Recipe, a 19 foot boat. Uh, yeah. It's going all around Britain. Uh -huh. uh, so about six boats, hopefully coming in tomorrow. Yeah, and the conditions haven't been exactly ideal, have they? And they're all in Dartmouth area. Nice one, thank you. Where else in Holland does this boat come from? Uh, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> well, that's English. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where else did they come from? From Holland. Gouda. 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 Gouda in Holland, yeah. Gouda. It's a good, it's, 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 it's a good boat. Saved several hundred lives too. It's got quite a history. It comes. We can tell you all about it. Okay, we'll wait for them to settle in first. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Hilda. <laughs> so, uh, so where have you just come from? From Holland. Where that's in Holland. Uh, um, uh, How long did it take? Seven and a half hours. Seven and a half hours. Was the sea okay? Yeah. Yeah, of course, she can roll. How, how old is she? Crumbs. She doesn't look any, she doesn't look that old. <laughs> Being nice. I believe she's uh, saved quite a lot of lives. Yes, 540. Crumbs. Yes, 
470. Yeah. All around the Dutch coast. In the northern part. Right, okay. Where does she originate from then? Where does she come from? Uh, in the northern part of uh, Netherlands. The Hague? No, northern part. All oh, right, uh, the modern island. All oh, right, okay. There's a lake for her anchor. And, and how long have you had her? Uh, this is uh, fifth year. Fifth year. Did she need much work on her? Uh, the first year, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. The last uh, owner was uh, uh, Right. Okay. And what did you have before her? What was the boat you had before? Oh, we, um, we had an, uh, a lager. Right, okay. Blackwater. Yeah, nice one. Yes. Well, welcome to Plymouth. Is it your first time here? Yes. Okay. It's the first time we are recently from Kaus. Right, okay. Yes. So you're going to spend the evening in the Corinthian Yacht Club? Yes. That should be nice. <laughs> Enjoy. Hello, what's your name? Patrick. Patrick. Hello, Patrick. And uh, what, what's your boat called? So, she is called Capriah. Yes. She's a herd 28 built in Milo Bridge, just uh, on the Fal, not right. far away. So she's a Cornish boat, and she's modelled on the uh, the Falmouth working boat. And if you're familiar with the River Fal and racing in the Fal, then you would have seen um, those boats racing during Fal Week and at various other festivals. So she's modelled on that. Yes. She's obviously got a cabin, so she's a cruising version. And how long have you had her? Oh goodness me, I've had her since 2009, and. I actually did the last, uh, I'm not too sure how much you, 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 your listeners will, will gather about what's going on here, but the, the, all these boats are assembled for a round Britain rally Yes. to celebrate uh, 60 years of the OGA. Yeah. And they did the same in 2000. What's the OGA? The Old Gaffers Association. Right, okay. Uh, whether that refers to the boat or, or, or the skipper is, is really up for discussion. But, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah. The organisation was, was founded on the East Coast by a group of um, sailing enthusiasts who loved traditional rig, the gaff rig being a very traditional rig, Yes. and were still going strong 60 years later. Um, but they did this similar event in 2013, which I took part in. Unfortunately, I can't, I can't do it this year because of other commitments, but I thought I'd come and join them for this gathering here at Sutton Harbour. So this is more or less the start of the race? Well, they started in Ramsgate, actually, yes. uh, on the East Coast. Um, and then they picked up a few more boats in the Solent. Yes. And last weekend they had a, a gathering there and a bit of a party there. And then obviously Plymouth now. And then on the round, what we've done is the, the way that the Old Gaffers Association, the OGA is, is known as, uh, is organised, is that each area around our coast is covered. So there are about 10 areas. And the idea being that each area will host a party, in inverted commas, or parties, <laughs> which is what this... Well, there's two parties in Plymouth, isn't there? There's, oh, there's one in the box, well, exactly. and then one at the uh, Royal Corinthians yeah, as well. well, and then one tonight. The South West Gaffers have got a double celebration, because, yes. because they're celebrating their own anniversary, as well as um, the OGA's 60th, so yeah. it's 50 years for the South West Gaffers and 60 years for the national, the OGA. And what were Gaffers designed for? Well, they were working boats. Um, they, they, I mean, I suppose the rig has evolved uh, over years, hasn't it? And originally there was the lug, I suppose the lug rig, the lug saw, which you again, yeah. is a, very much a West Country sort of you know, the Lou lug, being a famous um, design. Uh -huh. And then it progressed on to the gaff rig because it was seen to be more efficient. 
Um, but they, they weren't really used for le leisure purposes. It was working boats. They were fishing. They were they were moving stuff between bigger ships and the shore. Um, uh, there were pilots. Uh, or, or, or the sailing boats of that uh, of that age were working boats, and the, le the leisure activity came later. And then the gaff evolved into the, the Bermudan rig, the rig that we see most often now in modern boats. This is a four-cornered sail. Yes. As you may or may, may, may not know, and um, very distinctive because of the wooden spar. Not so, not so obvious on my boat, but the, on the ones that haven't got sail covers on, there's a wooden spar which, which raises up um, to, to create that sort of fourth, that fourth edge of, the, of, of, a, of a sail. And how old is your boat? She's not very old, really. I'm slightly embarrassed. Um, <laughs> She was built in 2000. Oh, crumbs. Uh, yeah, but built very much. A replica. Uh, yeah, uh, on old lines, exactly. And there's quite a few modern gaffers here, as well as boats. There's a boat coming in later on, which is well over 100 years old. Yeah. And I think that's the beauty of our organisation, as we, w we welcome people who, who have got small boats, big boats, boats that are 100 years, of years old, or boats that were built two or three years ago yes. on the old lines. And I think there's been a bit of a resurgence. I mean, you can see this. Uh, recipe, well, I don't know how you how to pronounce this, it's a Dutch boat, yeah. as, is, as it is, this is an old no, boat. This one's 100 years old, you wouldn't think yes, so, would you? It is indeed. Which old, one? Old, this that's, boat. That, that's a lifeboat. Good, good. It's an old boat. Called Hilda, yeah. And, um, yeah, you can see there, the, uh, the nearest one, the green hull one. Yeah. She's a relatively modern gaffer as well. Uh -huh. But then, uh, the one right on the inside, uh, the blue one, um, is wooden and, and much older. Yeah. So yes, it's all, all shapes and sizes. The great thing is you never to see two gaffers the same. They're all they're all different. They've all got uh, they've been built specifically. <laughs> and then they, then they get the characters of the uh, skippers as well. Indeed. So my boat was built for a Frenchman. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, let, let see <laughs> in 2000, and yeah. its first home port was Saint Malo. Right. Okay. In Brittany and. There are still some, some some evidence of that on board. Yeah. Um, on my, some red wine. <laughs> well, but unfortunately not. That, well, there is some, but not from leftover from all those years ago. But yeah. you know, there are little things like the, the throttle control has gone avant and arrière, you know, yeah. as opposed to forward and, and reverse. Right. Okay. So little things that, she's, that the Frenchman put on. Yeah. So how did you get into boating in the first place? My father was a, a sailor, yeah. and um, he probably took me sailing as as, as, as soon as he thought that I. You know, wouldn't drown myself yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. in dinghies, and I graduated to bigger boats and then offshore boats when in my twenties. Um, but this is um, this is quite a step up because this boat, although she's not very big, she's only 28 foot um, on deck, 40 foot overall. She's a, a, a fairly heavy displacement boat for a size. So I mean, she she'll she'll go. I've sailed around Britain, as I say. I've sailed around Ireland, been to Brittany. Yeah. Um, the Channel Islands, so you know, I feel very safe in that. She's oh, where, where, where's the furthest you sailed? Um, not necessarily in that boat, or uh, in uh, general. In, in general, oh, I went on a sailing trip to Antarctica. There you are. That's well, probably... What do you do that? Counted penguins. Um, <laughs> to count the penguins. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that was a, that was a, a you know a pain. You could put one up in, in quick save. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> with a joke on it. Um, so no, this was a tr uh, this was an amazing trip because we went in a in a, in a square rigger, yeah, um, a Dutch boat called the Bark Europa from Ushuaia in in um, Patagonia. Was that like a geographical expedition? No, it was a it was a, it was a, um, a, 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 a I tried to hesitate to use the word cruise, yeah, um, but it was a sort of hardy a cruise for the more hardy, yeah, um, hardy minded, and it was it was um, as you might imagine going to Antarctica was just. Unbelievable. Well, Darwin sailed from here to discover the origins of the species. It, yes, it is around amazing. around the, um, the around the Cape. The Inspiring for yeah. Plymouth, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Galapagos. That's yeah, that's right. right yeah. Yeah, indeed. Well, we didn't get quite that far. We we, we crossed <laughs> the Southern Ocean and we did, we did get down to the um, Antarctic. And what, uh, any excitement happening on the way down? No, I suppose the, not. Not really. Everything. Everything. Everything was. Went well, very competent crew, a big, tough, steel-hulled yeah. vessel. Um, no, we had some quite strong winds. It was the first time I'd been in a Force 10 gale. Um, so that was rock and roll. <laughs> there wasn't a queue at meal times. So <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> right, thanks a lot, Patrick. Anyway. Not at all. My, my, my pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.
Take your rope. Special thanks to BBC Radio Cornwall, Plymouth Gin, Sutton Harbour Holdings, Jonathan Bryce, the Plymouth organiser, and everyone involved in the Round Britain Cruise RBC 60 2023. 30 years of culture and the arts as a free service on Love Summertime TV. Don't forget to friendly share my videos, subscribe to my channel, and support me through PayPal at ccsphoto one at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video. Yes, 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 yes.